Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome to Ironcast, a game I am very, very keen to throw myself into, and a game which is very difficult to explain. It really is an odd one. It is a roguelike game, so that's one way to put it, and apparently, according to the developers, it is FTL meets Puzzle Quest in a steampunk Victorian environment, so yes, this is a bizarre one. And is best explained by simply doing the tutorial and the intro sequence. I have literally just finished the intro sequence before um, recording this just for audio prosperity, and am yet to even complete the, the tutorial, so we're going to learn it together, so and and nothing will be unknown. New game. Yes. Loading. Don't use missile launchers, shock coils or something. Okay, fine then. Troubled times. The year is 1886 and Queen Victoria reigns over her British Empire. A great war has been raging over a decade between the British and their neighbours, the French. The war began after the French had developed a powerful new energy source, known as Voltite, but declined to share their discovery with the English. French did- French- yeah, for the French. The French in France declared war on Britain in 1875 when the English government refused to return Voltite samples they had, you know, stolen the previous year. Voltite was quite simply the most valuable material in the world and the British Empire were unwilling to let it go, no matter the cost in human life. Yes, we're really not the good guys in this, by the way. Over the following five years, several attempts were made to invade by both nations, with neither being able to gain a foothold lasting more than a few days. The difficulty lay in the process of trying to land ground forces. It was a perilous task, as heavy steam tanks were quickly targeted and destroyed by artillery before they could move into a safer location. The Anglo-French War seemed to be a bitter stalemate. In 1882, designs for a new kind of ground unit became a reality. Instead of using tracks and wheels to move, these new vehicles would walk. They would be large enough to carry multiple weapon systems found on even the largest of tanks, but could move faster than even the smallest scout vehicles. And longer, in fact. The 20-foot tall brass and iron walkers would, would could str also stride over regular defences and quickly move into populated areas, discouraging Voltite artillery retaliation. Because Voltite is used for everything now, by the way, these mechanised war machines would come to be known as Iron Cast, named after the manufacturing processes used to construct them. Although designed for military purposes, the British Army did not own the patents or designs for the Ironcast. The war machines were instead built by a group of wealthy private businessmen and women, collectively known as the Consortium of Merit. Sick of the duration and bitterness of the Anglo-French War, the Consortium developed advanced models of the Ironcast in order to break the stalemate and declare a victor once and for all. Smartly dressed and devoid of the usual rough qualities found in fighting troops, the Ironcast commanders were a whole new breed of tactical genius, eloquently directing their crew in battle from the comfort of their elaborately decorated cockpits. The Consortium of Merit became the bulwark of England's defence and the spearhead of their eventual campaigns into France. It is now the 12th of October, 1886. The French have launched an assault on England on a scale never seen before. Close to 100 airships, by the way, art in this, art in this game looks fantastic, have descended on the south of England, dropping Voltite bombs on key military and consortium positions. The British army are in disarray. Most of the Ironcast commanders have been slain in the, in the attack, and a massive fleet of French battleships have been sighted in the English Channel. Dozens of enemy Ironcast have been dropped inland as a disruptive spearhead force, destroying consortium-owned weapon coaches. Uh, sorry, ca uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you know what, I'm going to call them coaches now. They are coaches and resource pipelines. It is in. It is a dire day for the British Empire, particularly when a dyslexic person is reading this lengthy monologue. We join our hero, Commander Ares Powell, as she launches. As she and her iron cast recover from a Voltite bomb blast in central London. Oh, finally. <laughs> I think I did okay, considering. Overheating causes... I can't read that. You were too fast. What a nice little background here. We appear to be on fire, and some form of... Honestly, we look like a steam engine <laughs> with legs. Come in, Commander Powell. Are you alright? Oh no, I have to voice her, don't I? I, I hear you. Who is this? Who is this? Do you not remember? 
This is Lord Butler. Lord Butler, your commanding officer and the head of the Consortium of Merit. Come now, we've known each other nearly a decade, Ares. I fear I have taken quite a knock to the head. I remember very little. What has happened? Oh look, a voice modulator. I can now speak like this. It was the French, Ares. They've, they've struck several key consortium and military locations at the same time. We estimate as much as 80% rather of our Iron Castamanders have been killed. You were caught in the bomb blast, but thankfully have survived. We need to get you moving. There are enemies inbound to your location as we speak. Yes, of course. But how exactly? Oh, your voice modulator. First, have a look at your cockpit. It's a steam engine. Ooh, yes, finally into this. Okay, now here's where I got to last time, and I stopped here. Lord Butler says, let us start by checking your system status. I can see weapon. Hmm, it appears that only one weapon is undamaged. Only one system is undamaged and active. Your weapons. We can use them to clear the debris that is out on the battlefield. First, match purple ammo nodes from the grid to supply your weapons with ammunition. Match at least three ammo nodes of the same color by left clicking on one and dragging a line through the other. So that. Ah, we have three ammo. Excellent! Notice that the purple ammo bar has been filled. These resources can now be spent in order to fire a weapon. Do that by clicking the fire button. L let us clear the debris. Okay. Pew! Ooh, take that debris. Nearly there, but we need more ammo. I can already see exactly where I'm going to get it. Aha! And fire again! We are victorious in our first fight against rocks. Right, Commander, let's get those other systems active. Your second system seems to be in agreeable condition. Now, what is it? Weapon B. What is weapon B? Can we check what it is? Okay, it's a second weapon. I think it's that behind him. Or it. I, 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 I promise I won't be gendering the robots this time. Your second weapon... Da -da 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 -da. Let's check your drives and shield systems. Those are your defences and drive systems. They'll be used defensively in battle, providing much needed protection for your iron cast. They're both defensive. Okay. It seems they, are, they have been completely wrecked by the bomb blast. Fortunately, systems can be repaired. Match up green repair nodes. So like this. Intel I've collected 10. I have! Good, now click on the repair button next to each system to consume 5 repairs and get the systems back online. Click. Yay, and click. There we go, drives and defences online. Both drives and defences seem to be operational, but we should test them out. Time is a factor, Commander. Energy is used to power your defences and drives, much like ammo is used to fire your weapons. Okay. How much does that cost each, then, you reckon? Okay, that's actually sad. There's two for you. And it also takes up the blue. Coolant is... Okay, I'm sure he'll tell me about that in a second. Haha, <laughs> what a weird way to do that. There we go. Power. Unlimited power. Raise my defensive. It provides shields. Ooh, so it does. Look at your top left display. I am... Here you can see your current shield strength. It, your shields will now absorb 10 damage from each shot of any incoming attack. That's right, it's all starting to come back to me now. Good, Commander! Now let's get moving. Click the walk button to activate your drives. Oh, so increase your evasion chance, it says there. We're moving! <laughs> Look at your top left display once more. I am. If your iron cast is moving, it is harder to hit. The faster you move, the fewer enemy shots will find their mark, so it's dodge chance. But shields and drives lose, lose energy of each turn, isn't that correct? Indeed it is, Commander. Keep them topped up with energy to ensure your iron cast is always protected. Okay. We can see a number of enemy iron casts in your area. That's rather unnerving. Lord Butler, it's, it's getting warm in here. Now that my systems are active, I believe my Voltite engines are beginning to overheat. Ah yes, you must be running on low on coolant. Each, every time you activate a system, so even weapons I guess, you also consume coolant in order to prevent overheating. To gain more coolant, match the blue coolant nodes. Okay. Okay, so, so, so I'm also getting experience per bit I connect. So I can do this. There we go. I, and I seem to get more experience. Yeah, each one gives me more than the last. Boom! Good work, Commander. Ensure that you keep an eye on your coolant reserves of battle. I'm not sure what experience actually does though, is the thing. I'm hoping it's like a permanent thing since it's a roguelite. A roguelike, rather. If your coolant reserves are allowed to run empty, then activating system will overheat your iron cast, causing damage to all systems and the hull. I guess in my hull is my final health. Now continue moving and go back to headquarters. 
slowly walking there. Hello. I started what appears to be a French iron cast. Shall I engage? It seems to be the exact model we have. I don't think you have any choice, Commander. Good luck. Combat is turn based. You have to. Okay. You take in turns to match nodes, raise defensive, and launch attacks your weapons. You get a maximum of three matches on the grid each turn. How many actions can I take there? Destroy the enemy iron cast by reducing its health to zero. You can see the enemy's health top right of the screen. When you're ready to end your turn, end your turn. Godspeed, Commander. Okay, so I'll do this three times. We don't need to repair. Oh, we can, I can heal them, but I don't really need to right now. We need ammo, that's a certainty. So we can do it like this. And that should get all of them. Woo! I'd like to walk more. So, effectively, I'm removing 10 damage each time. It's not it's not 10 health to the shield, it's 10 each time. So let's improve our shield a little bit. Now absorbs 10. We're now out of power. That's fine, this is a huge chunk we can grab. Do I want to do a shield again? Get to three. Sure, three shield. Okay, so, we, so that's how many actions? I'm just going to test how many actions I can actually use. Move faster. Move even faster. Oh, it seems like we have infinite uses of the stuff up here. We just... So only this is what's um, limited. Okay. So we have the energy lance, which does zero splash damage. It shoots once and does 75 to 88. We then have the light cannon, which does... Yeah, definitely more damage per shot, but shoots more times. But, yeah, so obviously, yeah, fire weapon I definitely. Oh, take that! Fire again! What's the benefit of using the bottom one? It must be something. Okay, end turn. You, you seem pretty hurt, sir. We, however, are maximum defense. <laughs> Our shield absorbed everything. Oh, of course, that's why you'd want to use the laser. Because if the shield reduces damage from every single shot, that means if you're shooting five times as opposed to one, you're getting five of that shield affecting you. Oh, I see, and then every turn that goes down by one. It seems like if I can get ammo, I think I can finish him off straight away. So, let, let's use the laser. Boom! Ooh. Boom! Goodbye. The British Empire continues to be victorious. Done. <laughs> Lord Butler, I have downed my opponent. Excellent work. It's f it's fortuitous that he was alone. Wait, I see another iron cast closing in positions. Should I engage? It's up to you, Ares. If you wish to evade and evade your enemy and head back to base, and I'll not think badly of you. We need to regroup and recover our strength. However, if you want to hone your advanced abilities in battle, feel free to engage. Oh, I see. So if I skip, then I can just go home. Well, I think I've, I think I know the very basics. However, is there more stuff to learn? Okay, stay and fight, let's learn. Let's try our luck, but Commander Butler. This one appears to have a shield system equipped and active. Weaker shots from rapid fire weapons. Yeah, we we just learnt that. However, weapons that fire a single high damage shot like an energy lance will have a much better chance of penetrating the enemy shield. Okay. Oh hello. To the right of the screen, you should see uh, the enemy targeting button. Oh, hello. From here, you can see the enemy's systems and their individual health statuses. Statuses. If you left-click on the system, it will be selected as the target for your weapons. All following shots will strike the system until you select a new one. Neutralize this new enemy and report back once it's been destroyed. So we want to kill their shield, essentially. This one. So yeah, so we're currently targeting the shield. So, um... Ooh, it's my, my turn first. Look how much repair stuff we have. I think we're going to have to get this just so we kind of clear the board. There we go. Wow, it's a lot of experience. Boom! Okay, we need, we need ammo and power. So we only have three moves, remember, so we have to be, we have to be a bit prudent. However, 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 if we get coolant, we can get loads of ammo and just wreck this thing, but then we'll have no power. So it's up to us. We can either go half... At half and half or full, I think half and half. We'd be actually no, we 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 actually need some coolant. So I think coolant is actually the better option. Oh wait, 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 wrong around. There, 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 and there we go. Coolant and then ammo next. Ooh, look, but a new type of node has appeared on the grid. Scrap nodes. We can earn scrap for the hangar bay. Okay, so that'll be something later. So that's for, like you no know, buying stuff for later. Uh, I'm guessing that's like the kind of roguelike element of it. Okay, get the ammo now. So we can definitely fire a few times. So we're currently targeting the shield. Yes, okay, fire the laser. 
boom. How's your shield doing? Oh, one more shot and that's gone. <laughs> your shields are down for the future. And let's increase our walking speed. Back to 15%. Enemy's turn. It just, it just repaired itself and then turned, the, turned its shields back. Oh, I see. So it actually repaired its shields. So we should try and do the same. We're out of power and we're out of ammo. However, we're okay for other stuff. So let's go for power first. Because there's not much ammo on the board. Ooh. Overdrive node. Correct, Commander. Overdrive nodes can be matched with two or more of any color node to, ma to collect it. All systems have a, have a small natural chance of getting an overdrive boost, but once you've collected an overdrive node, the next system will guarantee to get one. For shields, it means increased protection. For drives, increased evasion. Weapons do more damage. Okay. Well, I want that, but the only problem is I, can't, I can only really match it with energy. I'm already at full energy, so... Fine. Just don't get the overdrive online. Uh, so let's mega upgrade our speed. 20% dodge chance, hell yes. Hells to the yes. Well, if I get the scrap, that should... No, that'll fall in place. Oh, darn it. I can only get three ammo. That kind of sucks. Well, we'll get it. For last node, a link node. Two different coloured nodes in a single... Ooh. That's very cool. Yes, it's all coming back to me now. Excellent. Well, I'm going to do things now. So, first shot. Uh, we, we're, we're only get, going to get one shot. I think uh, minus so, fi so minus five per shot, five shots. So it'd be 25 damage less, which means yes, the lance is still better. Take out your shield again. Goodbye. And raise your defenses. My shields. I'm very defensive right now. Movement up, movement up, and that's all he did. Okay. We could go for his weapons, or we could break his his uh, movement drives. I think that would be coolest. So, first of all, why, why, why am I not repairing since, you know, it's essentially a free move? So, link node. How does this work? I don't know how that works. So, we'll just ignore it for now. What can I actually get? So, we can get some ammo. There we go. What we really want is some coolant. But it's not available. Let's do a link node thing. I don't know how that works. I've, I've, I've done that wrong. I'll look into it later. All we can grab is repair, but at least we can grab all the repair and get a load of um, free space for next time. We can also get scrap, but I don't know how why we want that. So, defense increase. Uh, so let's fire away, I guess. Slamming its legs. Yep, and fire the weapon B. Boom. The leg should be off Oh, damage, but not offline. Um, get back to walking. And sure, right. To oh, crap, I forgot we had really no coolants. Okay, lesson learned. We're burning ourselves. The shields are back up and really powerful, for that matter. Okay, oh, look at that ammo. Yes. Power and coolants afterwards, that's wonderful. Everything we wanted, we just, gr we just got in excess. You know, I'll, I'm, I'm just going to try and kill the bugger. Go for the shields first. Energy Lance. Overdrive Energy Lance. And then fire the machine gun. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. I believe you're done. I think that's the last of them. I'm in bad shape, Lord Butler. I think it's time to return to, to Hangar Bay. Can you remember where it is? Yes, I believe so. I feel I have recovered from my memory lapse. Many apologies. Not at all, Commander. It, it has happened to the best of us. It can happen to the best of us. I'll contact you soon with fresh orders. We hope we have an invasion to repel. I re I've received wo word on a second bombing run en route to my current position. I may have to relocate to a safer location. There's a church nearby, code name The Spire. I'll move there and contact you in... When what, Lord Butler? Lord Butler, come in! Lord Butler! What has happened? Still, I'm in no shape to continue the fight. I must return to the hangar and await further orders. I hope he's in good health. And then I walk into the middle. Ah, there we have it. The foreman. Welcome back, Commander. It is good to see you have survived the bombing attack. Many of your colleagues at the consortium were not so lucky. 
It'll take more than a comprehensive carpet bombing of London to kill me, Foreman. I thought I was always told. Sorry, I was told that I'd need to make repairs to my iron cast here. That's right. We've already repaired the damage sustained from the attack, but in future you'll have to repair it yourself, so I can repair here. Okay. Don't forget to repair for each battle, or you'll head into the next fight in a weakened state. Yeah, if you kill any enemies, you'll retrieve the designs for some of their weapons. Oh yes, that's what I was hoping we could do. Change weapons and such. And blueprints, blueprints can be found in the workshop. Currently, of course, we have none, so... Ooh! Ooh! Oh, so we can upgrade with that. Oh, of course, you yeah, have the scrap we saw earlier. Okay. Max energy, max health, etc, etc. All the usual stuff is there. I see, and how can we afford such repairs and upgrades? Surely they're not free. Correct, you'll have to bring scrap. Total scrap is here. If you want to equip weapons or shields, uh, I can click here. Okay. But there's much more to really understand. So if I click this... Ooh, augments. Okay. When you actually have a new weapon system to equip, you can do so by dragging the icon from the menu up to the applicable... Oh, okay. I see. I see how it works. I see the logic. Yes, we've got a new one. We have two. Ah, oh, I was thinking then, could we have like, two of a light cannon? That'd be amazing. Oh, cool. So we even have different shields and different. Okay. Cool, cool. I'm, I'm hoping they'll have different effects in the future. There's a lot, and that's all there is to it. We'll do all the hard work for you. Thank you, Foreman. You also gain experience points, which should be added to the bar above. Each time the bar is filled completely, you'll level up. Leveling up adds more health to your iron cast and allows you to choose new passive augmentations. To select a reward by clicking this purple icon once you've leveled up. Oh cool, so you get to choose as well. Your passive... I love choices. Your passive augmentations are displayed on the bottom left. So currently, we are a Lady of Power. Matching six or more energy nodes reduces the energy cost of activating the next shield or drive system. Ooh, by one. Excellent. The heat cost remains unchanged. In addition, the damageable energy-based weapons... Oh, that's why um, my, sh my laser keeps showing up as green in, in battle. So she can use lasers better than other... Um, Characters, perhaps? Just, I guess you get to choose other characters in the future, maybe? I don't know. Your system augmentations are displayed here, and they're here. Dwarven rocket pods. So that's my current robot, I suppose. It's my abilities. Fires a spread of six small missiles, each striking a random enemy system for 10% of the system's health. Is that? Oh, that's really cool. Four turn recharge. And we can equip it by clicking new slots, but of course, currently we still have none. And don't forget, you can quit the game. <laughs> Excellent. But, but beware, Commander. If you quit the game during a mission, the campaign progress will be lost. That's quite enough learning for today. I need to get back in the fight. Of course, Commander. Click select the mission to progress with the campaign and take the fight to the enemy. Good luck. We're counting on you. Okay, well, sir and sir, I think it's a perfect time to leave it. I'll be recording the next episode straight away. And, of course, if you have liked, favorited... Sh if you have liked this episode, likes, favourite, shares, comments, all that good stuff really helps out me, helps out the channel, and of course there will be more soon, and most importantly, in fact, with all that, it shows me that this is a series you're actually interested in, and more content will be made of it. So, thank you, goodbye, do have a nice day, and of course, do take care until next time. We're going on our first mission.